hi pet lovers and I'm honored to say hi poodle lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. Today we have an episode for our poodle series. We're going to be working with a championship gorgeous poodle to show you some of the stuff that you need to do for poodles in between professional grooming visits. Uh, today's episode is going to be on doing a clean foot. So that's shaving a poodle foot. You can call this a poodle foot, a clean foot, or shaving a foot. But I'm going to show you the tips and tricks how you should be able to do this at home safely with your poodle in between grooming visits. Okay, so without further ado, and before we go ahead and get into it, I have want to go ahead and talk about how clippers work and some of the safety precautions that we have with a clipper. Now for this work, we're gonna be using a clipper. You can use a static clipper or an adjustable clipper with different settings of the blade. So the one that I like to use, I can go ahead and set my blade between 10, which is this setting here. I can also go to a 30, which is what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna to be using a combination of a 10 and a 30, but mostly 30. If you're just beginning, always know you wanna start out with a 10 before you get really comfortable working with feet. The other thing I want to tell you about clippers is in case you haven't worked with clippers, I'm going to turn this on so you can see. We have a static blade, this is the blade that you have on this side, and then there's a variable blade that goes ahead and moves side to side. This is what allows you to go ahead and shave dogs pretty safely, but there still is a safety concern, especially when it comes to feet. So dogs have webbing in between their toes. I'm going to show you on my hand so that you can see the safety concern. So when I'm gonna be showing you how to do poodle feet, clean feet, I'm gonna be telling you to dig into their toes, but you have to avoid this webbing because if you come into the webbing like this, you can actually catch the skin and cut the dog. So the only way to dig in is with your clipper this way, okay? Or in this direction, toward the webbing, never hitting the webbing straight on with the side of the clipper because you can cut the dog, this skin can get into the teeth of this clipper and between the moving part of the other part of the clipper and cause injury, cause a cut. But I wanted to take a second. Yes, a clipper is safe, but make sure to approach it the right way. Never, never this way. Okay guys, again, I'm gonna be using my clipper for this work. That's pretty much the only equipment that I need. But I also need to remember that this clipper can get hot. So the other pieces of equipment that we need for this is gonna be a coolant spray, okay, and a towel where you can go ahead and wipe that coolant spray off your clipper. How do you check if your clipper's getting hot? Not with your hand. It's like a baby bottle in a sensitive part of your arm where you're gonna be able to feel if it gets hot and keep checking it through your process of going ahead and clippering your poodle or using a clipper on any part of a dog. Always make sure you check it. If it needs cooling, stop, spray, and then wipe. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump in and give our beautiful Ava a gorgeous poodle paw. Okay, we start from the back. Now, I've got my clipper set to 30. That's my normal clippering of the paw pad. Now, she's pretty nice and clean here because she is a championship show dog, but I still can get these bits. Again, if you want to really go ahead and dig in, you can only dig in at this big paw pad, always remembering that these little toes have webbing in between them. You never want to go side to side. You always want to be facing this way or, in certain cases, the other way as well, but always facing that way. Okay, so once I'm pretty happy with the back, and if they fuss, again, I talk about this a lot, you don't tug a war with your dog. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front part. Now, if a dog has a lot of hair, I usually will go ahead and approach them immediately with the grain, with my 30, and just take off any excess coat. Good girl, okay. But because she's got pretty, good feet here. I'm going to show you with my 30. I'm going to go ahead and start edging this. I'm holding her toes gently but firmly. And this is interactive. It's not just a clipper, right? You also want to use your fingers, push up that hair against the lay of the coat. That way you can go ahead and get um, all those bits that you need. Now look inside this toe. Remember that whole webbing demonstration I just showed you? We want to be very careful that even when we dig in and we push this out, we don't go ahead in that direction over that toe, unless we're very, very, very careful. That's her webbing, so I'm gonna be very careful about that. Okay, and then using my fingers, I can go ahead and pull out more things that I can get, okay? And I go ahead and push out her toes. Okay, now we're at the middle toe. Going off to the side here. Let's get all these bits. Let's pull up. Good girl.
Now let me go ahead and check my clipper, see if it's hot. It is. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and wipe. Away from the dog, obviously. Wipe it. Okay, great. Okay, so now we've got a nice cool blade. I just sprayed it, let's continue. Remember, you're gonna be checking this blade throughout your process. Miss Ava, where were we? Okay, we were at that middle toe, looking pretty good. Now right above those nails, we wanna go ahead, lift up, get in there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, edging there. Good girl, and you can see I'm just going down. Everything I ever do is always in patterns. There we go. And you can let your dog lay down. She's comfortable that way. You work around the comfort of your pet. So that last toe, I know I need to dig in to this stuff in here. Again, webbing, nail. Watch the angle of your clipper. Watch that webbing. Pull away from it. Try to get all the hair. Good girl. Get one hand here. And checking. It's still kind of cool. That's good. Okay, princess. Almost done. Okay. Very nice. Thank you so much, Miss Ava. So, okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same process on all four of her little feet. Now, one of the things I do want to be telling you about is so rear legs, when you lift them, I just want to show you to be careful. When you lift your dog, give them support. Let them know you're coming in. The rear of the foot, I'm going to go ahead and approach this way. I'm going to make sure I don't overextend them. So even if I can't get to the other side of her foot from this angle, I can walk around the dog and get her from the other side. So if you can't get it all in one side, don't overextend your pet. Go ahead, make sure that they're comfortable, make sure that they're happy, but be as thorough as you can because this really does help their traction and helps them obviously stay as beautiful as they are. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Remember to like our videos, subscribe. We will see you next time.